James and Eve have been in a relationship for five years. Three times a week since they've been together, they have gone for a walk in the park. But recently there's been a problem. James has developed a pain in his back and can't walk in the park as often, which has put a strain on their relationship because Eve feels like he's neglecting her. James may be suffering from pain disorder. Pain disorder is exactly what it sounds like. It is a psychological disorder that causes sufferers to experience pain. It is considered a mental disorder because psychological factors can aggravate the physical pain. These factors can influence the onset of pain, the severity of pain, and also the maintenance of pain. Pain disorder used to be called both psychogenic pain disorder and somatoform pain disorder. It used to be called psychogenic pain disorder because it was believed that the pain was psychological and not physical. Then doctors discovered that patients suffering from this disorder were in physical pain. It became known as somatoform pain disorder because the source of the pain was physical but the source could not be pinpointed. Nowadays, the broader term pain disorder is accepted. When patients complain of pain, doctors may order scans and tests to determine the source of pain. But what if they can't find the source of the pain? That's often when pain disorder is diagnosed. Remember James? He has a pain in his back, but the doctors can't figure out why. As his psychologist, you think he might be suffering from a pain disorder. In order to diagnose him, you go down a checklist of symptoms. Number one, significant pain. This one is pretty clear. James is suffering from pain in his back, and it's significant enough that he can't take his regular walk.